Hi guys, in this video we will discuss about the air bubble propagation in the water which is uh, at 350 degrees uh, Kelvin and uh, one side of it is open to ambient. So now we will just uh, start here, uh, go to the general, it is a transient simulation, activate the gravity, it is in the minus direction, minus uh, 9.81 and then go to materials uh, on the volume of fluid get into the implicit formation implicit formation means uh, if there is any uh, variation in the current number if it is greater than 3 or 4 also this will take care of that and you activate the implicit body force and uh, sharp dispersed interface click on apply after clicking on the apply you just go to the uh, species and just activate the species also and apply so click on OK and after that uh, you need to turn on the energy OK and the viscosity is a laminar flow what we are trying to simulate here the bubble dynamics OK in the mixture uh, sorry in the materials go to create and go to fill in database and uh, select uh, uh, maybe any mixture and we will try to modify according to our requirement copy close right uh, so and oh yeah and of course go to the fluent database and uh, copy the water liquid and water vapor also into our uh, project so now go to propylene air and make it as uh, water vapor and uh, air and you just go to the names uh, remove C3H6 remove oxygen remove carbon dioxide remove hydrogen and just add air to this part so now it is a, a material which is combination of water vapor plus air so click on ok change create close similarly now uh, we need to go to the volume of fluid and go to faces in the primary phase make it as water and face material is water liquid and the secondary phase we need to give vapor air so this is a mixture of vapor plus air so select that water vapor air mixture apply and in the phase interactions uh, give the surface tension coefficient constant so it is 0 0.072 now after keeping the surface tension as 0 0.072 go to the heat and mass transfer it's a number of mass transfer mechanism uh, in this water only so this vapor air in the species is uh, uh, water is converting into the water vapor uh, species so has to go and keep it the evaporation condensation keep it as a uh, from frequencies 5 and in the saturation temperature it is not 373.15 that is the most important thing uh, we cannot directly use the evaporation uh, condensation with that saturation temperature as 373 so i'll just show you so if you can take this as the interface between water and air so this is water this is air right so when uh, uh sorry for the bad image yeah but still uh, when the water will turn into air it will take the vapor pressure as the difference pressure so when the vapor pressure uh, when the pressure of the interface is less than the vapor pressure then it starts vaporizing until it reaches the vapor pressure if the pressure of that the interface if it is more than the vapor pressure of the water and air then it will not uh, evaporate so we need to check at each and every uh, time step whether the uh, pressure at this interface is more than the vapor pressure or less than the vapor pressure that is very important so in that respect uh, i have uh, derived an uh, udf you can see this udf which helps in calculating the vapor pressure uh, sorry which helps in calculating the saturation temperature with respect to the vapor pressure so uh, so these are the terms the volume indicates the c volume indicates the volume and this is a pointer thread uh, for the primary phase and this is for the secondary phase and uh, this gives the value of the volume fraction of the primary phase and this gives the volume fraction of the secondary phase so over here primary phase is nothing but water and the secondary phase is nothing but vapor plus air 
and uh, i'm trying to get the operating pressure also because everything will happen here in the atmosphere so the operating pressure is also much important here and the operating pressure is p underscore op and the density of the secondary phase is nothing but uh, c underscore r c comma st because st is a pointed threat to the secondary phase so it will give the secondary phase density so now if vf underscore p is equals to one so it means that when there is only water fraction then the saturation pressure is nothing but p underscore mix plus p o p p underscore mix is nothing but the saturation pressure in that cell plus the operating pressure because it is in the atmosphere we need to add that operation operating pressure term right if not then we need to calculate the vapor pressure for water and water vapor only so neglecting the air pressure that will exit so uh, i need to only calculate the water vapor pressure right so what we need to do is uh, i'll try to calculate the mole fraction of water vapor and the mole fraction of air then i'll try to multiply with the mole fraction of water vapor by the total mole fraction which gives the vapor pressure significance only for the water vapor not for the air so this p underscore w so this p underscore w mainly at the interface of the water vapor and air and this vf underscore p is equals to one it is for the water so this gives the saturation pressure and with the saturation pressure when you keep in the entoine equation this gives the saturation temperature so that saturation temperature i'm trying to store it in the uh, user defined memory so that i can uh, visualize in the entire uh, graphic user interface so if i'm just keeping an another message if the saturation temperature is less than 273 or greater than 473 i'm asking it to pop in the console i'll try to now uh, compile that user defined functions compiled add it uh, so i have already have in this uh, previous fff so i'll go to that part where i have stored this uh, so i'll just build it and then i'll try to load it so in the build it will show if there are any uh, compiling errors or not So there are no errors. Uh, next, load it. After loading it, go to the volume of fluid and uh, mass transfer mechanism. Sorry. Go to evaporation condensation rate. Uh, from frequency is some phi value, and uh, this is user defined and the saturation temperature. Okay, but the phi value is not correct because you need to vary the value until it matches with your experimentation result. Uh, that is the drawback for the Lee model. But it is quite quick uh, in order to get any uh, result evaluation, right? And then uh, you need to increase your user-defined memory by one because we have used one user-defined uh, memory. And then after you just need to go to the initialization part. So in the initialization part, you need to take the gauge pressure is three five one four, and uh, with the water vapor eight water vapor fraction is zero point zero one seven. Uh, so because here. Uh, the remaining part uh, present with the water vapor 0.017 uh, from the atmospheric point of view and the gauge pressure for that water vapor fraction it is 3514 so you need to click on initialize and after clicking on initialize uh, you just go to manual and uh, in the predefined criteria go to multiphase and activate volume of fluid and on clicking volume of fluid you will get this uh, gradient view of fine and coarse we don't want the coarse uh, you keep it as a none and after that go to predefined criteria and uh, sorry uh, in the cell registers go to new region in the region you need to mention uh, the circle and the uh, rectangular region where we want the air and water vapor to be passed already have given those values so you can just see here so this is the air plus water vapor that is present above the water and this is the uh, water vapor or air bubble which is present inside the water and the water entire temperature is passed with 350 kelvin Right. So after click uh, going to that, you can just go to the counters and just uh, uh, check the uh, saturation temperature. So this is at the end of the time step. It already ran. So you are getting those things. And after that, uh, you can just go to the run calculation and start a uh, click on calculate. So after running through a few iterated uh, time steps, you can just see. So this is the uh, phase interaction. What you will see with the with respect to time, how it is happening. 
and maybe you can just uh, look over this video also i'll just play it for you this is a face of uh, water vapor and air bubble it's just going with respect to the time how it is moving it is refining only at the uh, part at the interface in the remaining part it is not getting uh, uh, I mean, remixed or redefined so similarly you can go to the other counters and just check what are the things so this is a, a vapor vapor fraction so water vapor fraction how it is present and the phase interactions so you can just see so this is a user defined memory and this is the phase interaction so here you can see there is more conversion of uh, water vapor to sorry water to water vapor or water vapor to water so this negative sign indicates that water vapor is turning into the water liquid and the uh, red sign indicates that uh, water is turning into the water vapor so uh, i hope uh, this video has given a brief insight how to model the bubble uh, formation and bubble propagation inside a heated uh, liquid uh, so please do subscribe the video and hit the bell icon uh, for more updates thank you